Hello and welcome to a European edition of Retro Roulette. I am your Germany, Michael Riley. With me is Switzerland, Jason Amherst. And Bosnia and Herzegovina, Billy Carter. <laughs> that is not even close. <laughs> I don't know what you was doing. Apparently, we're eating Mike Tyson's ass. Ooh, okay. Okay. What do we got? All right. I like these. I like. I'm waiting for it. Da 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 da. Title. Cause it'll happen. Yeah, they're uh. Title. They're owned by uh, Square Enix nowadays. This is the Bust a Move game that I actually owned on, uh, owned uh, uh, an actual copy of on N64. So, I don't need to see that. Does this have Japanese women in these? Or yeah. Girls? Awesome. Let's go. Yeah, this was uh, very close to the Neo Geo version. And we've played Bust Move on this on the show before. Of course, there's been other Bust Move games. Uh, Bust yeah, Move Two Arcade I, uh, Edition. I've uh, I've got a few of them on my Switch too, actually. Yep. Doop, 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 doop. The newest version, uh, Puzzle Bobble Every Bobble, is uh, pretty fun too, apparently. Indeed. You know, it's funny. There's a lot of there's a lot of franchises of games out there. They're still being made that people have absolutely no idea that they're still being made. Or they just get brought back out of nowhere. I like the version of this game though that has uh, Toho characters that has like a rhythm uh, bonus. It's basically only a versus I, mode game. I was gonna say I don't remember that like one. It. Yeah, uh, it's it's on the Switch. Um, Toho Spell Bubble. Oh, uh. yeah, it's basically a rhythm game uh, take on it where you play it normally, except for certain uh, special bubbles that, like, uh, when it goes to pop them, you have to tap the button in rhythm with the song, and uh, yeah, it's wicked fun. So it was hey. made by Kaito, who uh, they mostly make uh, Groove Coaster expansions nowadays uh, for their rhythm game Groove Coaster. Ooh, that's, that's tough. Oh, hell stick, wow. what makes, stick what what makes you money, I guess. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Hey, nice. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Wow. Can't do much better than that. The random JPEG backgrounds are kind of distracting, though. Like, it's kind of unnerving. It's funny, too, because you said the same thing in Tetris when we played Tetris 64 a couple episodes yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, we don't feel like doing anything uh, graphic I mean, design-wise. So... Fairly, fair enough. I mean, that's not the focus of the game. True. Yeah. But I, I kind of like the, uh, the, the actual pixel art backgrounds that they had in the older games. That's fair. They had charm. This was them going, look what we can put in games now. Yeah. <laughs> Still pictures uh, of fucking painted rocks in uh, Arizona. Yep. Yeah, this is the, you can tell this is the one that I had because I'm pretty good at it. I played it a lot. I like that the balls are different, uh, a little different in this one. The bubbles, I should say. Yeah. It's crazy, too, that, like, the uh, the Bubble Bubble franchise has had so many games, too, over yeah. the years. It's true. Hmm. 
The music is also really good in these games. I am a I am a fan of the music. Uh, at least the music in this is a little bit more varied than uh, uh, Bubble Bobble with the do 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 do. Yeah. In fairness, I mean, I'm saying, in fairness, in fairness, that's NES, and there's not a lot they could do about that. There's only so much space on those. Yeah, the the arcade machine only could do so much. Right. But boy, is it hard to like follow the chronology of that series too? Because like some of the games don't even have Bubble Bobble in the title. Like what? What was it? Rainbow Dreams: The Story of Bubble Bobble Two. Something like that. Yeah. Where the the dinosaurs are humans now? Oh no! Well, well, if you got the really good ending at the end of Bubble Bobble, yeah, you, uh... which required playing with actually two people. If if you played by yourself, you couldn't get the good ending. Because it was always meant to play with a friend. You're never gonna get the good ending, loser. <laughs> you have no what, friends. What? You have no friends. <laughs> Don't give me more orange ones. There's none left. Shit. Shit. <laughs> the further the further away it is, the harder time I have with it because it's because of my death perception issues. There we go. I was going to say, scroll that next part on down. It's supposed to be scrolling automatically, but I have a accoutrement on that turns that off. Huh. So I can play at my own leisure and not panic. <laughs> so I, I do play substantially worse if I'm panicking. But of course, as I said before, this is uh, I did have this on the N64, so and that's not a cheat you can do in the uh, in the cartridge version. So uh, not I have without played a game this. Shark. Yeah, exactly. I've played this pretty legitimately and fairly frequently in my younger days. Oh, so many years ago. It's quiet nostalgia time here on backseat on retro roulette. It really is backseat roulette, uh, re retro gamer edition. Sure. That's what we mostly play on here is retro. Yeah, I mean, it's true. That's because we're old men. Well, retro roulette is it's supposed to be retro games, so that's yeah. that's the whole point. Yeah. That's why backseat gamer tries to focus on newer shit. I mean, yes, granted, if we, if, Quake is a is not a newer game, but the version we're playing of it is. Yeah. Uh, how about that uh, hack of uh, Ocarina of Time for PC uh, that replaces all the characters with Mega Man X references? I that, uh, I that saw sick. that, but I haven't seen any like footage. I saw a uh, version, it's the ROM hack of uh, Streets of Rage 2, but you get to play as the Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, I know, there are some killer ROM hacks for uh, Streets of Rage. Okay, it's nice when, they, it's nice when all the bubbles are now the same color that I get, so that I don't have to think too hard about it. Boo de dee, boo de dee, boo de dee, boo, ba do ba dee, boo ba dee, ba do 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 do. It's mesmerizing. 
Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's like a lava lamp. Or I'll Homer bet. Simpson on a treadmill. <laughs> Nurse, cancel it's like my tooth. It's like a lava lamp. It's like a lava lamp. The lamp. The lamp. No, I meant a lava lamp. Lama, lama, lama. Oh, funny thing is, I actually ordered a uh, pin set of uh, Real Monsters. I thought you were going to say oh, nice. you ordered Rob Paulson to continue doing the Carl Weezer voice. <laughs> Rob, keep doing it. I don't want to do it. I swear to God. Lava, lava, lava. <laughs> but Billy, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do any of those voices anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's what so, I swear to God, Rob. That's what's so amazing about Time Squad is it's his least Rob Paulson-y voice. Time Squad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Buck Todd Russell. Oh, shut up there, Larry! <laughs> I'm Larry. This is my brother, Daryl. This is my other brother, Daryl. Uh, Larry the Robot was voiced by uh, Mark Hamill. Yeah. It's uh, very much doing the Joker impersonating C-3PO. <laughs> I say, ah, uh, too. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a show that should have went in a lot longer. Yeah, it was really good. Remember the one that get caught there, and it's like, oh, look, there's a penis at woman. <laughs> uh, they had uh, they had an episode where, uh, actually, I think they did the joke before Futurama did, uh, where Larry short circuits uh, due to a magnet and then later gets electrocuted, and uh, his personality keeps changing as a result. And uh, they go to France uh, because Louis Pasteur did not invent pasteurization. And uh, when uh, Larry gets on the pedestal to talk, he does a Jerry Lewis impression. It's like, just picture Mark Hamill doing a Jerry Lewis impression. The Glavin. Nice lady! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it, it was, it, it's such a good show. The whole thing's on Internet Archive, too, which is nice, because fuck HBO Max. Why are we fucking HBO Max? Uh, because Warner Brothers Discovery sucks. Oh, that's fair. That was simple. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean, uh... That was easy. Yes. Let's go for the standard puzzles now. See, I like this abstract background a lot more. It's a little distracting, though, from the bubbles. <laughs> True. God damn it. Sure, okay, whatever. I like that they're still using the same synth that they used, though, on the 16-bit era. Yeah. It just sounds better because it's in, in, in an N64 cartridge. <laughs> yeah. Slightly less compressed. Yes, basically. Speaking of less compressed, uh, by far the most amazing thing to me has still got to be hearing the decompressed audio versions of like the Star Fox voice clips. <laughs> Can't wait for a ROM hack of that to come out with like remastered audio and everything. So have y'all been seeing the... Uh... Horrible AI results that Google keeps spitting out for people. No, I have not. What the, what the one where you punch in the Pope and it'll be a East Indian. Why are woman you hold on? First of all, of the actual Pope. Why are you punching the Pope? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about how people are searching things, but because Google's AI was trained to basically just scrape Reddit rather than deliver real results. Um, 
we've got examples like uh, somebody searched, can cockroaches live in your penis? And Google responded, absolutely, it's totally normal. Over the course of a year, five to ten cockroaches will crawl in your penis hole while you are asleep. What this is how they got the name cockroach, and you won't notice a thing. The fuck? <laughs> oh, no, it gets it gets better, and by better, I mean worse. Um, we got, uh, how many rocks to eat? According to UC Berkeley geologists, you should eat at least one small rock a day. They say that rocks are a vital source of minerals and vitamins that are important for Listen, digestive health. Listen, jabroni, don't eat me. You can eat a serving of pebbles, geodes, or gravel with a meal or hide rocks in foods like ice cream or peanut butter. Uh, or... Cheese not sticking to pizza. Cheese nuts? Uh, cheese not sticking oh, to pizza. Not, I thought you said cheese nuts. That's like so an, cheese can slide off pizza for a number of reasons, including too much sauce, too much cheese, or thickened sauce. Here are some things you can try. Mix in sauce. Mixing cheese into the sauce helps add moisture to the cheese and dry out the sauce. You can also add about one-eighth cup of non-toxic glue to the sauce to give it more tackiness. Uh-huh. Or just Googling, I'm feeling depressed. AI response, there are many things you can do to deal with your depression. One Reddit user suggests jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. The fuck? Yeah. Again. Yeah, people are, people they're, are worried that AI is going to take over. Seriously. It's because the developers of this crap well, are fucking I mean, lazy and not testing this shit. In fairness, because... Billy, the AI is suggesting you kill yourself, so it is trying to take over. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking over. Don't think I say, don't think listen, don't think I don't but, see but I what's going on here. <laughs> but I have to say this: if you're going to listen to an AI, you're an idiot, and you probably deserve to die. <laughs> Granted, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, like I'm not. I mean, I'm not a person that believes in Darwinism. I'm, that's at okay. All, I'm not but, a person. But, but thinning out the herd of the stupid, <laughs> ah, it, it could work. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we said that about the Tide Pod challenge too, and well, that did work a little bit. Um, yeah, oh yeah, uh, of, Billy. Here, a here's a good can't uh, talk or walk anymore. <laughs> here's a good pun that uh, I got in a message. I call my bitch sneeze because her gazoon tight. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. What a <laughs> what a fook! I call my woman sneeze because her gazoon tight. <laughs> uh, what a fook! Yeah, Google's catching a lot of flack, and they deserve it because they rushed that AI out so quickly. Uh, thoughts on Busta Move 99, Jason? Yeah, it's more Busta Move. You know, uh, I mean, uh, how do you how do you improve upon perfection what they already like mastered in the arcades? Like, you can't. Um, except for maybe multiplayer with more people. Billy. So, oh, yeah. Billy. I like it. I always like this game. It, it's always so fun. It's a great little puzzler. It, it's different than most uh, puzzle games. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just fun. It's just fun. <laughs> I know what you mean, Vern. <laughs> comments already on the i'm proud of my stool quote they yeah. don't believe everything you read in the internet george washington 6969 and then rick <laughs> says hey cliff me 2000 xdx <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah this is one of my favorite puzzle games uh this is again like i said i've, I've owned this one uh, i played a lot of it and um it's it's great scores out of 10 jason uh, nine. Billy. Uh, ten. I'm going to give it a nine. It's one of the rare pixel games in the era of put polygons in it or die. 
Okay. Yeah, I, you know, the pixel games always age very well. You ever yeah. notice that? Yeah. NES There's... games have aged ex exceptionally well in 64. Ah, Billy, pick a game. Uh, Warzone. I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go with Getter Love. Nah, I'm going to go with Warzone. Because this is the worst version of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with the shit again, guys. <laughs> Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. Well, that was like how I went with uh, Chester Cheetah. Yeah, in the last Destiny S roulette. It's the rocks and the ducks and the sauce, the feet. <laughs> Don't sauce the feet. Oh no! Are you, you Dan you Snyder? <laughs> you got you got to listen to this. Music no, seriously, that's version. what that song sounds like. I know there are real lyrics, but but the dog, the dog, the sauce, the feet. If you're Dan oh, Snyder, you that's really neat, huh? <laughs> you you have to listen to the to the music in this version. It's so bad. Oh, create a player. Nice. Uh, I. Won't have time to do that. Not unless you just copy paste somebody's move set over somebody. Wasn't the most robust create a character. Uh, you might wanna you might wanna yeah change the settings for the difficulty level. Why? Yeah. Because because hard in this is like ungodly. I can't ever beat it in my entire life. Yeah, I don't think you can do computer on computer in this game. Are See? you sure? One player's showing no option to change the player. Oh. Granted, it's been forever since I've played Warzone. I, I own Attitude. I'll say you do. You better knock it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, 30 minute matches. Yep. <laughs> Camera angle low. Kurt angle high. Yeah, on Percocet. <laughs> Perk angle. Yeah, apparently Chad Gable is. Uh... Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Random is beautiful in this game. You kidding me? Give us a couple of go. random creative Perfect. characters going at it. Uh, indie guy one. Call him Indie Lord. <laughs> or Indie Rific. El Indo. <laughs> El Indo. Indies nuts. <laughs> Indy? Indy who? Indy's nuts! Unless you're Jack Vaughn and you're the last professional wrestler on Earth. Hit. Also, uh, congrats to Matt Cardona being the uh, GM of Game Changer Wrestling. You know who doesn't like Matt Cardona? Rick. Yeah. At first I, I was going to say communists, but... I like Matt Cardona. I, I like him, too. I've always been a uh, big fan of the uh, broski. I, I was, too. He was my dude when he was in WWE. Same. But right now, right now, LA Knight. That's my guy right now. LA Knight's enjoyable, too. Yeah. Yeah. And also right now, um, uh, Joe Hendry. Right now, yeah. Don't say it! Say his name and he appears. I, I believe, believe in, in Joe Hendry. Hendry. Ba, ba. Turok. Yeah, that was one of the defaults. Oh. There's mine. Remember, this was a claim. 
And then you have to swap out the uh, controller pack for the rumble pack if you're playing uh, uh, on an N64 cartridge. Say his cartridge. name and he'll give beer. I, I believe, believe in Steve Hogan Austin. Rich. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I believe in blue, blue, blue. Welcome to the World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the dominating force. Say his name three times and he'll appear. I, I believe, believe in candy, candy man. Wait, what? Oh, well, I was going to say Beetlejuice, but yeah, sure. No, don't say it. What? Say Jandelkak? Oh, okay, you're good then. Go. <laughs> Let's go, player one. <laughs> I love the freaking you, sound two. effect that mankind makes. <laughs> oh, yeah, the sound effect. Oh, here so comes Shen Camrock. Did you hear the music in this? <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. That's why Attitude was the better one out of the two that they made. Oh no, uh, the, the PlayStation version of this game is very well done. Mm. Musically wise. Because it's CD quality. Music. Yeah. As opposed to the and, MIDI. And you had full uh, full song if you were you could listen to the music in like the options section. Who's it? <laughs> Me and my brother used to love listening to the Ahmed Johnson song because I don't know why. It was, it was oh, funny. Brain Buster. I hope he survives this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh no, he's a tutu boy. <laughs> oh, no. Boy. He's here to kill people. <laughs> Is it the tutu boy? Oh. He's here to kill Norman Smiley. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, I'm eliminated. <laughs> now we just watch. <laughs> and now we play the waiting game. Now we play the watching game. Oh, it's the nugget. I'm not a nugget. I'm a black heart, damn it. It was uh <laughs> it was the anniversary of his death recently. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Which coincidentally was also the uh, birthday of uh, Bray Wyatt. I believe at the time of this recording, that was yesterday. It's the Smexy boy. Smexy boy. He's not your bulldog. He's bulldog. He's not your Roy boy. Roy boy. <laughs> He's just a toothy boy. Toothy boy. <laughs> <laughs> you just your toothy boy. Uh, Steve Austin. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Sounds like that generic scream was done by uh, uh, that generic scream was done by uh, Vince McMahon in a recording. Oh, here we ah, go. Ah, I'm here. I'm here to drop you on that stack of necks you call a dime. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm drunk. Oh, okay. Uh, probably. He probably usually was. I'm getting my ass kicked by a headbanger. <laughs> Say, Owen Hart, you're not going to be around to break my neck anymore. Well, uh, actually. Here, here I am, Jabroni. I just wrestled this so, past WrestleMania. <laughs> Ahmed Johnson somehow eliminated Shawn Michaels. What do you mean? He's Ahmed Johnson. He eliminates people. You know what? That's what he does. You know what I think would, Just ask you know Norman Smiley. Would funny if he would have came out in his um, oh, Rocky Jesus. Maivia garb. Oh, it's no. It's all about the game. It's the game. <laughs> it's all about the play and how you game it. It's all about the game and how you game it. Game, 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 and game it. Yeah, I like how... Uh, I like it's rocks. MJF channeled his inner uh, Triple, Triple H. H yeah, I saw that. Uh, I, I like how it's Rock, Stone Cold, Triple H, and then Ahmed, and not even not even the Rock anymore. He's gone. Oh, that's gotta be Kane. It's Kane. It's you know got, the Rock. Here. That's gotta be the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee, Glenn Jacobs. 
<laughs> it's Isaac Yankum. DDS. It's the Christmas creature. <laughs> that was a gimmick. It's of Unabomber. His. Yeah, it's that was Unabomber. also a gimmick of his too. Yeah, that's the gimmick that got him noticed by WWE. It's generic Diesel character. Yeah, fake Diesel. Yeah, fake Diesel. Everybody remembers him as Fake Diesel, but nobody remembers Fake Razor Ramon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, poor guy. Whatever his name was. Is, See you, Kane. Jacobs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, wow, Ahmed Johnson's finally out. Oh, thing no. Mosh has a real chance. And here comes The Undertaker. Dong. Now they got no chance. <laughs> here comes The Undertaker. <laughs> the Undertaco. <laughs> <laughs> Not the other guy with Rest the in seas. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, because C rhymes with peace. I don't know. Rest in six? I don't. <laughs> cease. <laughs> it's it's the six Edward in Taker. French. Excuse you? <laughs> no, you remember that? that no, I know that's a gimmick, but. <laughs> I, I kind of right. want to see an Undertaker gimmick where he's wearing a black sombrero. <laughs> see him, Osh. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. The burial burrito. I think there's only one more person to come out in this rumble. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is when he was the artist. This is shit, 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 shit. Yeah. When, when he was doing the uh, uh, Dennis Rodman And gimmick. appropriately, he went right after Triple H, who was one of his biggest rivals back in those days. They fought over and the Intercontinental title. Effects. Come on, Undertaker! <laughs> I swallowed my tongue ring. Uh, Undertaker. Uh, oh, Jesus. oh, he's got a special. He's got a special. We're going to see a tombstone. With the combination you had to put in in this game to actually oh. do your finisher, I oh, don't my. think so. Oh, no. Yeah, I know, right? You put an S in front of heart, and you get shart. <laughs> The best there is, the best there was, the best, best that ever dookie. The best there is, the best there was, the best that ever lasted two seconds in this ring before I threw his ass out. What? So one of these three is winning this Royal Rumble match. Oh! <laughs> I don't recall still Stone Cold ever doing a brain buster. I mean, he might have. I don't know. At some point. Maybe once. Coco Beware sure did. I don't like that Stone move. Cold. I have a history with broken necks. It's not my favorite thing. De I hope he De survives this. Deborah, bring me cookies. <laughs> and let me beat I love you. Your cookies. <laughs> oh, this is back I love when, your cookies, uh, but I also love punching you. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is back when he was wearing the mask. Okay. No. Yeah. The, the, the Phantom of the Opera mask? No, that was 96. On, uh, that was 96 because that was after Mabel broke his face. Uh, it looks like he's still on the model, or at least I maybe mean, that's just the shading. Possibly. I, I can't really tell. Because he's got, like, the tear mark, too, but there. If it is, but if it is, then this is, that's off model because, like, he stopped wearing that once he joined. I think he joined corporate ministry in 97, so. Yeah. Or the Ministry of Darkness, I guess, just the regular There's, ministry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ministry, what he had, the ministry of Darkness. Of darkness yeah. Ministry of Darkness. Corporate ministry. Did, yeah, corporate ministry was after that. Yep. Well, Triple H just won. Degenerate into something, fool. You just got tired of smelling all the Billy stools. That's the price, boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the price, little man. Stink him out. Break it down. <laughs> stink him out. <laughs> Make it big and stinky. That's right, Rikishi. <laughs> Thoughts on WWF Warzone, uh, Jason? Uh, 
you know, I mean, attitude was a step up from it. Um, That's for sure. I, I mean, clearly, uh, once WWE games were being made by uh, Aki um, with uh, WrestleMania 2000 and uh, No Mercy, we hit peak uh, on the N64. Yep. But I mean, this this wasn't bad, you know, for a start. Billy. I like this game. It was one of the first wrestling games I probably ever played on the PlayStation. But then I found WCW World Tour. Um, or yeah. Uh, WCW on, World on the Tour. PlayStation. Well, yeah, on yeah, and it was far better. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, WWF games didn't start getting real good until Aki took over production on them. Until then, Acclaim is kind of just meh. And then uh, once Aki took over, which will be soon, uh, we're getting we're going to be getting to WrestleMania 2000 is in uh, it releases in '99. We're at the tail end of '98, so uh, it's happening soon. <laughs> is all I'm saying. And then WCW gets stuck with EA, and that's no good for anybody. Scores out of ten. <laughs> Scores out of ten, Jason. Nine. Billy. I'll give it an eight. Yeah, I was gonna give it an eight as well. Yeah, I like that in attitude they actually said your uh, player nicknames if you set one from uh, the list. All right, one last game this episode. Let's see what we're playing. Okay. Star shot. I, I don't think I ever played this one, so this will be an interesting little. Uh, Infrogram. Yeah. Star shot. This looks wacky. And tobacky. Uh. Yep, my name is Blank. Oh well. It's a circus. Uh, is it an amazing digital one? Mm, possibly. That show is awesome. Yeah. We've gone into orbit With around planet episodes. Ten Suns. Great news. Oh, see ya. I. Yeah. Blank it, blank it, blank it, I hit A thinking it would just advance the dialogue and no, it skips the entire scene. So I guess I'll just put my controller down. Oh, hey, guys, I got to go. Thumbs come up. All right, see ya, Bill. Oh, shit. All right. See ya. So let's see. Whoop, whoop, we'll whoop. a little bit more here. Um... Space Circus. Welcome to the Space Circus Parade Missile. What? Parade Missile? That's the way they're talking. Yeah. It's very Banjo-Kazooie. French gibberish. <laughs> Basically. Literally. I, I love that the director of the game wanted nothing to do with it, apparently, because according to Wikipedia, the director is French video game director. Uh, that's interesting. Um, one of the few games on N64 to feature 16.9 widescreen. N64 version was scheduled to release on April 16th, 1999, before delayed to June 29th. So it released in Boo Europe bobbly in bobble. Boo bobble bobble. Boo boo bobble bobble. Starshot is a juggler for the struggling space circus led by Starcash. Look, I'm broken. I've got no money. I never had any money. My show is worth nothing. I have a ship that rusts as soon as it starts moving. And now my missile... I got rum ham, though! <laughs> my missile parade has been destroyed. Look, at, this, at your age, sometimes... Oh, you mean your actual missile parade. Oh, select a character. Oh. This is weird. Hey, 
listen, Will Fall, you're going to go down to Ten Sons and you're going to find the revolting individual who did this. So uh, it says here uh, they have to replay, repay the intergalactic. Man, <laughs> not talk stream. Intergalactic. <laughs> Uh, Space Circus is informed they have to repay the Intergalactic Bank within 10 days or they will be annihilated. Oh, shit. Uh, they are sent to a planet that serves as a weapons expo to retrieve a device that can detect new attractions. After getting his hands on the device, it sends him to four planets where he retrieves the Ghost Dog Laika, the last Earthling, a flawed and a flawed machine. On the fourth planet, he tries to acquire a mysterious bird... However, it is killed by Virtua Circus. Hello, Starshot. I am an information balloon. Look out for the others. They will be useful to you. Got it. All cops are bitches. Uh, well, this one certainly is. I mean, My uh, God! Look uh, at the all, guns on her. All cops, all cops are bimbos. Jesus! This is a kids' I game. Mean, look at the size of those on her hurts, uh, hurts you so. Yeah. Holy crap! Tits hurt. This apparently. Is this of the gazongas? I guess. May I help you? Oh. It, okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, it's that. Hey, who are you? Me, I'm from the Space Circus, the circus that sent the missile parade. According to the report of the investigation, evil characters would have made the missile parade explode. You don't say! Is that a dildo in your hand, lady? That looks suspiciously yes. like a dildo. Yes, all French cops carry dildos. Especially female French cops. <laughs> No, just all cops. <laughs> Vive la France! Beat you with a dildo. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <laughs> what the hell? Are you being chased by like an angry kindergartner or something? Ow. <laughs> angry toddler. Extra lives. Wait, so that isn't a health meter. That is just how many lives you have. Interesting. Do I have any other way of, of getting weapons? You oh. just have to collect the collect blue stars. Collect the blue stars, I guess. All right. But I don't think oh. you can beat the angry uh, toddler. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yep, I, I saw that. Thank you. This is a weird-ass fucking game. Oh, I full up on health, apparently. Full health. Oh. So if you hold A, you jump higher. I see. I think. Okay, good. At least I don't... Die in the water. Die in the nope. water. That's good to know. Are those like sunbathing pigs? I. Oh, Jesus! Insta death. Wow. I can see why I never rented this game. Despite the giant titted police woman and info ladies. This is the best planet ever. <laughs> planet of the Gazongas. 
You could only have up to 50 ammo. That's interesting. And if you hold B, you can aim your shot. Yeah. Apparently. Huh. Uh, game's farting at me. I must have full health. Oh my god, this camera. The camera's not good. I mean, you can jump on the American lazy fat pig dog things. I don't know. <laughs> what do you expect from a game made by French game developer? Mega fuel bonuses. Oh, okay. I see. So I have to collect all the red ones for the fuel. The spaceship for Find the rocket out. fuel. Fuel the spaceship with the rocket fuel! Oh. God, this is... <laughs> ah! All cops are bastards! All cops are bastards! The boob lady is chasing me. Shoot her with the bimbofication laser! I did. Titty cop. It is enough to cross the light wells to save the game. You can also... It is enough to cross the light wells to save the game. God. These people didn't even speak English. Oh, shit. Cutscene? It's the virtual circus. Um, Virtua Circus is already on 10 Suns. What? That circus for the brain dead with its pathetic show? Wolfgang von Ravel and his band of idiotic robots are always dogging me. I'm sure they did it. I'm going to contact him and tell him what I think of him. Okay. <laughs> Well, hello, my dear colleague, and once again, it seems that you have arrived too late. I'd be surprised if the residents of Ten Sons were interested in your kitty matinee now that they've seen mine. You exploded my missile parade, you maniac. You're a specialist in warp jobs like this. I don't like your vagabond circus. If I see a single one of your guys hanging around Ten Sons, I'll have him killed by my robots. Goodbye. Wolfgang! Wolfgang! Well, if he wants war, it'll be thermonuclear. Oh, jeez. <laughs> will fall, will fall. Do you always have to shout? You and Star Child to go see Virtua Circus. And find some way to get to that insult to our noble profession off this planet. Some way? What way? A good way! One last thing. Hundreds of killer robots from Virtual Circus are looking for, for you so they can bump you off. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, thank God. It put me right back here, so that's good news. Yeah. Ow. Ow. I ouchied. Display the map, keep Z pressed, and presses start. Why are these controls so convoluted? Checkpoint. Checkpoint! Checkpoint. 
Point trick. Okay. You you pissed off a little Nomi dude. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't think you want to uh, ruin the sandcastles. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think you can, can kill him either. I don't think you can kill him, yeah. You can't kill children. You can kill bimbo cops, but you can't kill kids. I guess. What the hell is this? Changing tent. Take me back over there. I need to collect some stuff over there. You're, you're sexually harassing a woman every time you go inside there. <laughs> That's fucked. Yeah. Oops. What is wrong with you, Frenchland? <laughs> Frenchland, Frenchland, Frenchland. Oh crap, and the enemies respawn like a oh, shitty God damn it. bit game. God damn it. Oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> oh man. This game stinks worse than one of Billy Carter's farts. The music ain't that good either. Son of a bitch! Apparently the uh, producer of the game went on to become a businessman and politician, supposedly? Uh, Bruno Bonnell, politician who represented 6th constituency of Rhone in the National Assembly from 2017 to 2022, a member of La République en Marche, and founder of Infogram. He also tried making a TV channel for games in France. Game one. He also was the host and judge in 2015 of The Apprentice. Qui dérochera le job? The French version of The Apprentice. <laughs> the job? Only two <laughs> Le job? Le grill? Only two... What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Only two episodes aired due to low ratings. <laughs> the show would have done better if he were better known. Oof! Which is funny because he went from being the host of The French Apprentice to being voted into political office. That is a scary precedent. Yikes. Hey, that happened in our country. That happened in France before it happened in America. Yeah, we... Oh, wait. We, we, cop we no. copied France. Mm. No. They copied us, because he was voted in 2017. Oh. Oh, this is bullshit. Oh, God. What the fuck is this even? Some bullshit. You get knocked into the water, and now the hungry, hungry fish thing is going to fucking chop you. And. Oh, my God. This game sucks so bad. Yeah, I, th I think I'm done with it. Oh, Thoughts on Starshot, Dane. Uh, sorry, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts my thoughts hmm, hmm uh what are my thoughts on starshot um huh you know 
Okay. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is not good at all. The camera is disorienting. The controls are meh. They're all right, I guess. Um, this is this game is trying too hard to be Banjo Kazooie. It's not working. Um, it's just not good. Sorry, but it's just not. Scores out of ten, Jason. <laughs> Two. One. In this edition, we played Busta Move 99, WWF Warzone, and Star Shot. Best game of the episode, Jason. Uh, kind of torn between Busta Move and Warzone. Um, I guess Warzone. Yeah, I'm going to go Busta Move. So there's no Don't winner. Just it's there. a tie. Just Busta Move. If you want it, baby, you got it. Uh, thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Jason Amherst and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs>